Okay, welcome back to How Now Videos. We're gonna take a look at something one of my students taught me yesterday on how to uh, import another Revit file into Revit, and then we're gonna explode that file. So we're gonna turn it into a block, and then we're gonna explode that block, so that way we can edit each component individually. So let's get into it. Okay, taking a look at my file here, I just have a, a typical Revit file open. It's kind of amassing for a house right here. And it's actually from my uh, site plan orientation video. If you want to watch that, it kind of shows how to geographically place this building so you can do a solar study on it. Now, I'm in the Insert tab right now. So over from Architecture, went to Insert, and I'm going to link Revit. And this is probably as far as a lot of people have gotten um, on bringing in a file. Uh, but it comes in as a block, and it's actually technically not an exact uh, block for everything yet. It's not completely grouped with our model. So first thing we have to do is completely group it. So we're going to click on it and we're going to bind the link and attach it to also our levels and grids and say OK. And now it's completely grouped. Grouped. We're just going to say OK on this. And uh, now that it's it's here, right, we can actually go about exploding this by just going to ungroup. When we ungroup it, it's now individual components. Um, completely completely separate and editable. So if I want to delete that out, I could. Um, or for example, let's say I wanted to bring in some pre-made um, specified to code like bathrooms and uh, kitchens and all that. I can drop those into my floor plan um, and not have it be just a 2D graphic, but just a 3D model coming in and I can customize it as needed for the project. So kind of a cool way to go about this. Don't forget to save and subscribe.